What is the poppin' calisthenics fam? So to start off this video, I wanted to show you my uh, cut on my finger. Um, so if you don't know, I tried a Power 540 a few weeks ago and I slammed my finger on that and I, my nail just fell off. It just like completely fell off. And then I did a Swing 540 perfectly fine eight times in a row and then just yesterday I do it again and I smash my finger on the bar because I grab it wrong um, so I'm healing from this but everything else is absolutely incredible and that's why I want to make this video because not only for that update <laughs> but more importantly I've been receiving a question a lot in my inbox about testosterone uh, when you have low T how does it affect your training and how do you really boost those levels naturally I'm not talking about any synthetic crap I don't want to hear anything about that I want to know all about the natural ways to make yourself healthier and perform better and build the body that you want so let's dive right into it first of all the one thing and by the way I have my iPad again because I like to always write things down here and if you do enjoy these type of videos let me know give me a thumbs up and we'll continue doing the same things just running straight through it giving you all the information that you need to become a better you so stress levels if you're very stressed if it's chronic and it's not acute and you're just always you know you're tired you're you're angry a lot more there's a lot more issues going on in your life most likely it is because of your stress levels and this is not good for cortisol when your cortisol shoots up it affects your growth hormone it affects your testosterone so that's one thing that you need to really be focusing on getting enough rest and some of the things that I do is uh, taking naps I meditate at least for like five ten minutes a day very very quick just really just go into your mind relax yourself stay in one quiet place and just start your day off that way and then maybe in the middle of the day and then at night it's great and it's very important for your testosterone levels and just stress in general second is sleep so sleeping is extremely important if you're not sleeping seven to eight hours every single day then you're most likely not getting the sleep that your body needs remember when you're putting your body under stress whether it is uh, going to work or it's uh, let's just say getting a huge workout in at the gym you need to be focusing on just getting that rest giving your body that time to relax gather itself so that it can recover and get to where it needs to be um, I also take naps naps for 15 minutes remember growth hormone is produced at its peak when you are sleeping and testosterone all as well so that will really help you in the long run um, intermittent fasting I intermittent fasted for a while I don't right now because I don't really need to but intermittent fasting hold on actually let's let's check out this view real quick I'm sorry I'm gonna go right back into the intermittent fasting but this is Santa Monica guys if you haven't known where I live or what I do this is like this is the place I, I absolutely love this place it's absolutely incredible but yeah we're gonna continue this video now um, intermittent fasting it said that it could increase your testosterone levels by 400 percent absolutely incredible what it can do for your body um, I went through it my test levels did increase a bit I, I do I generally do have higher test levels no for all the haters not because of steroids or anything like that <laughs> back to what I was saying um, so try intermittent fasting don't eat for about 16 hours and then give yourself an eight hour window where then you can eat have three different meals and try that um, fourth is heavy resistance training and I'm not saying weight training because if you're a body weight individual and you don't have a gym then you can definitely get into a park and just increase variation and make it harder so heavy think really really hard high intensity those types of training will definitely increase your testosterone levels especially if it's about an hour long of training let's keep walking so um, fifth you want to be adding a lot of healthy fats into your diet that's one of the biggest issues behind low T individuals and what can you be focusing on so you have three different types of fats that you want to focus on um, omega-3 fatty acids so salmon try and have salmon a few times per week have your uh, your fish oils omega-3 fish oils we have them on calcetics.co um, also saturated fats so coconut oil um, and then we have what else mono unsaturated fats so things like avocado or olive oil make sure you're getting it in your diet usually an avocado a day is good 
it's right where you need to be. And then sprinkle on olive oil to on things like a salad. Don't cook with it at really high temperatures. That's gonna affect you in the long run. It's not really gonna have any benefits to you. Um, and then we can focus on vitamin D. That's the last and final advice I have for you. If you're not getting beautiful sun, <laughs> about 20 minutes per day, then you need to be taking a vitamin D supplement, D3. So focus on vitamin D3, not D2, not anything else, vitamin D3. This will help you and just give you that boost in your testosterone. And with all of these combined, you should be exactly where you want to be and following a correct diet and all the good stuff Every single day, you'll become stronger. Every single day, you'll lose more fat. You'll get exactly where you want to be. And then another thing, if you're under eating, it will hurt you. You will not be able to get those test levels up. If you're overeating, it's going to affect you as well. Too much fat or not, at, not enough fat at all on your actual body. So body fat percentage can really affect you. So all of these reasons are things that you can you know, really focus on, not reasons, but pieces of advice that I gave you, you can really just zone in on and use towards your life and towards your results. So that being said, if you want any workout programs to pair with the information I gave you or the omega-3s, go ahead and check out calisthenics.co. We're always there to help you and giving the specific things for your goals to get you where you need to be. Um, I'm Brennan. If you did enjoy this type of video, give me a thumbs up. I love using these iPads. It just gives me a lot like more information to provide to you rather than trying to store it all up here and just spew it out to the camera. Um, yeah. Thumbs up for, for Josh behind the camera. He's doing a great job with us. Incredible graphic designer and the rest of the team here at Calisthenics. We have big things coming. The apparel is coming soon. I don't really want to give you uh, too much information, but you always got to make it count. And always remember, stay driven. And the rest of the things that we provide to you every single week, it's to help you move forward and get better day to day. So thank you very much. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time.